Well, it knocked me off. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. But I gotta wait for my friends to get back here. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on with, with Facebook today uh, that I can't, this is maddening. Let's see. Ooh, oh, I see 11. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna wait for y'all to come on back in. Let's start over again. The minute I flipped y'all, it just knocked me right off, completely off Facebook and everything. And so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna paint where y'all can see it. That's gonna be the trick today. It's always something new, isn't it? That's why, let me, this is a perfect segue. This is why I need, please, <laughs> like 15 to 20 more of you to go subscribe to the YouTube channel, Tater Buggin', because then we could just go over there and go live. That's all I need, just that much more. So, no, it's not you, Teresa. It's, uh, again, I'm doing everything like I always did, but. I don't know uh, what what that's about. So, let's see. Huh. Let's see, it's going to be upside down for y'all. Oh, well. I guess it's better than not at all. Maybe y'all can flip it over. Thank you, Kathy. That's so sweet to send those stars. I, I'm a little bit frustrated right now. I wanted everything to go great. I mean, just in, what, two days. I, a day before yesterday, everything was fine. Only 11 more, Cindy? Okay. Oh, Lori, okay. Just stand on your head while you paint it. Why did you do that? <laughs> okay, I could try sideways. Wait. It's still going to be backwards for y'all. But you know what? Let's just, we're just going to try to make the best of this and hope that this does not happen Sunday. Hey, Myrtle. Hey, Phyllis. Thank y'all for coming back. Thank you, Lynn, for subscribing. I just appreciate it so much. Um, oh, thank you, Robin. I appreciate it. This, it's just, oh. You know, you have a way, you just boom, boom, boom. I worry, I worry, Carol. I want it to be good for y'all. I want I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. But I'll go, I found a cute little pig to kind of, I searched for some inspiration for a cute little pig. And there you go, Opa. It'll still be backwards, but at least, you know, it'll be right side up. So we want to have these two um, recipes showing are the titles, um, decorated baked ham and baked ham for glazing. So I'm just going to start right about here. We're just going to do a little curved line. This one's a little more complicated that, than that simple triangle chick. So, um, that's why I am, uh, using my pencil to kind of draw it out the way I want it to be before for I put paint to paper and see if I can I want to go like that and we're gonna go gosh y'all I used to paint pigs all the time pigs are counting I, I painted them so much that one time I was in downtown Memphis I had a store uh, that carried my work downtown and uh, I heard somebody call, oh, are you the pig lady? <laughs> and I knew exactly what she meant. I'm like, oh, ouch. <laughs> yep, that's me. See, this is why I like to uh, pencil the little bit more difficult ones out because I want to see how they're going to look proportionately before I start painting. See, we're gonna do a little cute little snout, just kind of like that. 
Oh, it is Karen. Oh, y'all are the best. Oh, yay. Thank y'all so much. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to learn the ways of live on YouTube. And if this happens Sunday, that's what we're doing. We are going to just move right over there and not let it get to us. Now, I want to do something kind of cute here. That's not far enough down. I'm telling y'all, don't worry about erasing. This is, you know, I am, I can paint. And I'll say that with confidence. Drawing is a whole different thing for me. So let's go on and do, I want to do a little. Yeah, right here and here and here. And I know this is probably really hard for y'all to see yet, but once I start adding the paint, it's all gonna make sense, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> there we go, okay. And down just a little bit here. Because we're going to put a little skirt on her. And then come down here. And do her little legs. She's just going to have simple little legs. We're keeping these simple. Because they're just kind of cartoony and fun. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. There we go. Get that other side of her ear, kind of like that. Okay, let's bring her to life. Hey, Deb. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, I've drawn many a pig, yes. This pig, this particular pig I'm doing today, though, this is the first time I've done this pig, and I want her to be just so cute, and I, the, it, her expression's going to fit with the recipes, I hope. Hey, Mary, you turn your phone upside down and you're drawing right side up. Perfect, great, Lori, that's great. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm starting to answer to oink. <laughs> and the problem, I was pulling these colors and I thought, you know, I know full well now, because I've done this long enough now, that when you go to print with pink, uh, pink does not print great, so I don't know how this wood block print's gonna look, but we're gonna do it in pink anyway, because it's a pig. Now you should start seeing the actual, um, shape that I've done of this sweet little cutie. Hey, Janice. Yeah, Dolly, I didn't think you could. It's in pencil, and um, that's why I was saying as soon as I start to add the paint, um, you'll be able to, to see what I'm doing a whole lot better. I just wanted to get the proportions right before I started putting paint down. I knew I didn't have to worry with that on that simple little um, chick. It was just a triangle, and I have loved seeing all of the chicks that y'all are painting. You are rocking the chicks. And wasn't it fun? Thank you. Who said that, Margo? Thank you so much. And once we get the, you know, once you get that drawing kind of in the shape that you like, you don't worry so much about, um, uh, getting too technical with these funny little whimsical paintings. We'll do a little shading, but not, not crazy. Can y'all see her head now? Um, I forgot one color. I forgot a color. I'll be right back. It's right here. We got a pool of that mauve pink that we used the other day. Think, is that what I want? No, nope, we're gonna use this or this. 
Okay. Thank you for tossing the taters, Rose. What did LaDonna say here? We had a red pig for 10 years. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, Y'all, my bucket list, I have a bucket list. It's a simple bucket list. And one of the things on my bucket list that I still have not gotten to do is um, play with baby pigs. And I'm serious. I am, oh, I wanna play with baby pigs so bad. One day, I wanna play with baby pigs and I wanna swim with dolphins bef before I can't swim anymore, you know? <laughs> before I'm too old to swim. <laughs> hey, Allison. Oh, good, Dolly. I am so glad. That's what I wanted. I wanted y'all to see just how simple you can make it and fun. I'm just going back and forth like I do with my colors till I like it. I like this one. Okay, let me wipe that off and I'll just go back in like that. All right. And let me grab my... I want to get... Mm -hmm. That's still got some diamond dust on it. I better, I better get the diamond dust off of that. Play. Backing it up. Oh, Melissa, I would love that. I would love that. You need to be drinking for me. Yes, I do. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, my goodness, I should have thought of that. I'm just putting some white out onto my plate here. And we're gonna just kind of shade right up there at the top of the ear with just a little white. And I think maybe kind of across the top of her head, give her a little depth, I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna do this. Let me. Hey, Allison Lee. How are you doing? Oh, thank you, Dolly. I love to do um, roosters, too. Those are so much fun. Hey, Amanda. There's Amanda from Amanda Made. Guitar Dave's going to be on tomorrow night, and I'm so excited. I get really excited. One time I got so excited, I jumped in there and won a prize and that I oh, was supposed to do that. I get really excited when he does 70s music. <laughs> so I warned her this morning. I'll have to sit on my hands when I watch tomorrow night. All right, we got our little snout that's just a little bit lighter. So I'll take a little of this darker. What is this color? This one's called Wild Rose. Yeah, Lindy wins. <laughs> I felt so bad. I hit send, and nobody had said the, um, nobody had guessed yet, and I was like, oh, please, somebody, please be ahead of me. No. We laughed. She sent me happy mail. She's such a trooper. I wasn't supposed to do that, but I felt bad. Okay, that just kind of delineates. I'm, I'm gonna go in there with my little micron pens anyway, probably, but I, I can't help myself from shading. Can I zoom in a bit? Sure, here, I'll put you right down here. How about, is that better, y'all? I'm sorry, thank you, Betty, for letting me know. Um, all right, we're gonna do right here. And you know, from watching the, the chick, where you really start seeing the details is when I add the micron pen outline. So it might look a little bland before I get to that part. I know, Dolly, some of them are like that for me, too. But lately, when he's been doing um, Name That Tune, I'll get so excited, and I'll, I just have to sit on my hands. 
<laughs> to not, you know, yell it out. I used to have an uncanny um, music type memory. I am not musical in the least, but I just knew every word to every song. And um, if it's from that era, I can usually do it. All right, you see our little pig coming to life. And I'll go on while I've got this pink out. And roads, not streets. What did I miss? Let's see, we're gonna go out here just a little bit. Yeah, I do too, Michelle. It's my favorite. When I uh, have music going in here while I work, it's always, I try to find just old 70s music to play. Love it. Again, you see how easy I'm keeping this? So y'all, you know you can do it. Okay. Good, Elaine. I hope you will. We're going to our church senior saints dinner. How fun, Brenda. You enjoy that. That's great. Okay, I thought what I would do is make her skirt, her little tutu or whatever it is, um, true red. It's kind of a bright red. Hey, Gala. We'll do the little band on her skirt. Okay, y'all are going to be the first to know. I just found out before I went live. Mr. Tater Buggin has two um, ladder trays finally built. And so they're going to go in the online shop. I'll make an announcement about it. But um, probably tomorrow at 5. So he can, you know, get them all finished. And ready to ship as soon as you order. We're just going to ruffle her little skirt just like that. Oh, Sue, you're, you're very sweet to say that. Really is this easy, though. That's why I love to, you know, paint for y'all to show you it really is this easy. You don't have to stress over it, especially something like these. You know, you can just have fun with them. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I think I'll take a little white. I don't want to do this. Maybe a little right up there. And again, most of the detail on the skirt's gonna come in with the marker or with, you know, if y'all choose to use black acrylic. Look at our cute little skirt. All right. I saw one of those, Elizabeth. Um, it's really small and it's two-tiered, but I showed it to him. I said, Target stole your design. <laughs> of course, it's just a matter of time, but he has another design that he's working on now, and he has drawn it all out and everything. It's just a matter of time to, uh, to get it at the first one actually built. Um, do you, are you on her texting service, Melissa? You need to sign up for her, Am Amanda's texts. 
Wondering, does Mr. T collect anything? Um, yes, he, well, he has a nice knife collection. He collects boy things, you know, like that. Just boy things, um, yeah. He's got a nice uh, lighted cabinet with his um, knife, knife collection in there. Trying to think what else. Right now it seems to be Jeeps. <laughs> okay, let's do... Pig's eyes are usually kind of far apart. I'm going to do that. All right. <laughs> Judy... Are you on your phone? If you're on your phone, flip it up. Everybody said flip it upside down. I'm just so sorry it's this way today. Yeah, well, me too, Melissa. It'd be weird if he, he didn't, huh? <laughs> it's the truth, Pam. I see it all the time. Y'all know you can actually buy ugly dolls. They just spelled it U-G-L-Y. Um, now in the stores. All right, I just wanted it dry a little bit uh, before I get out my micron pens. Can y'all see that? Am I in the screen? I gotta look down there to do some little cute outlining and see if I can. I was gonna jump right in so we could possibly get two of these done today. That's my hope. Maybe we could do a cow. And I chose my inspiration piece for the cow. Um, is different from any other cow I've ever done too, so. Look at our cute pig. Facebook is terrible today, baby. What y'all doing? It wouldn't let me. I tried six times to get on here. If I flip my phone, shoots me off. And when I um, flipped it over like I normally do, so that would be right set up to them, it knocked me off again. So we're having to do it. We're having to wing it today. Makes me so mad. We're... But they're so sweet. They we play on their playground, you know. That's right. That's why we got, they got me uh, where I can do YouTube live now. We'll yeah. just shoot right over there to to YouTube. Sorry, y'all. I had to tell him. Charlene, we have actually been down there when that was going on. Um, Gerald's grandmother lived in Daytona Beach. And I, I learned quickly, you don't want to go down there during um, bike week. <laughs> Grandma did not like bike week. Oh, see, I just kind of messed it up, but we're going to fix it. It's okay. I can fix that with acrylic paint. Um, she couldn't get around town anywhere for all the motorcycles. We were there one time. Oh, Lindy. Y'all, this is not my day. You know, some some days you win, some days you you lose. But um, I do love Daytona Beach. I'm, we don't have anybody down there anymore to go visit. This one may not be as cute as my our little chicken, but maybe she'll be all right. Okay, let me let me do a little fixing. Yeah, you don't want to end up there in bike week, Nancy, do you? <laughs> that 
Thank you, Tarita. Um, I just wait, wait, wait. I'm just up the road in Jacksonville. Oh, Lori, really? That's cool. Well, now I have a reason to go back down to that part of the country. See, you get a little too heavy handed with the black, you just go back in. You just go back in with your paint. And nobody has to know. Look at there. Is that okay? What do y'all think of her? Is he cute? I'll admit I'm not totally enamored with this one like I was the chicken, but Connie's making supper. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, I am. I just finished painting a pig. Look, 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 y'all. Look. There she is. Now she's right side up. Thank you for the heart. Y'all are really generous. That was so oh, I think I'm off my game because Facebook messed me up. <laughs> Doesn't she sell? Uh, she's supposed to be a little shocked because there's a baked ham recipes on the page. <laughs> oh, good, Michelle. Great. I'm so glad. All right. So we've got our, let's just keep going. We're going to do the cow. Let me pull out my cow page. So can y'all see that? See, it's um, cream chipped beef with chive rice and campfire hash. So we got to put a cow on this one. Oh, this one's going to, this one might stretch me, y'all. Okay, I've never done this particular cartoon cow before. So we're just going to start right up here. We'll go straight across. Not that far, Lindy. Don't want to make it too big. Too far. Too far. Hey, Debbie from Georgia. Yeah, she's praying that will eat turkey, right? I don't know. We're going to work on the horns. See, if I do this live, y'all see how much trouble I have with drawing. It's not my strong suit. That far. Funny, cartoony looking cow. Again, this side I keep getting carried away with. We're gonna paint all over it, so. This comical cow's gonna have horns. I'm not, I don't care what real cows do. Right now I'm just making, you mean, well a bull has horns, right? <laughs> Y'all help me, <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna just do a circle. Okay. Yeah, that's good, that's all right. Now this is gonna mesh all up. Cause I got horns on her. 
but I'm going to put udders. Silly, silly udders. Again, I'm just, I'm just trying to sketch a funny cartoon. I'm put some udders on her. Hey, Susan. Don't mind me. I'm just over here trying to figure out a cow real quick before we paint it. Now let's do some arms. Gonna have her, him, her have his arms crossed. Just we're just on a big belly. Because these are just supposed to make people smile. And we're going to have one big nostril and one little nostril because this is silly. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Betty can tell us about the cows. So y'all don't critique me. Um, you can cr critique me on my painting or my um, <laughs> drawing. But we're just gonna make this a funny cow. So, okay, let's go. Lindy, come on, let's do this. Get out my, what, let's get this one out and go for it. We're just going to start adding paint. I have a, I usually, what I have to do, Gail, is I have to look for an inspiration picture that gets me started, it gets me going on a painting, or a, a sometimes it's a photograph I use, um, but of course I wanted these to look really cartoony, so I looked up um, like pig cartoons for inspiration, and I found this cow cartoon that really made me smile. So that's where I'm starting with these. And then I kind of just, it ends up being a little different in my own. Yes, you can do this, Dolly. That's, uh, that's why I'm here. Um, that's why I'm here to show you that you can do it. I'm just dipping into two kinds of brown. That's not different enough, but I will make it work. I'm going to go over here to this white. I'm going to white to it. I'm putting udders on this cartoon cow, and I know it's going to drive some of you mad, but please don't get upset about it. It's just for fun. These are just supposed to be silly and fun. And, you know, that's the thing. Once, you know, once I've done one, you just can go to town on making it, you know, look the way you want it to look. Don't put horns on it if you don't want to. Or look up a cartoon cow drawings or something like that. And find one that you really, really love. 
Y'all are very generous with your um, compliments because I know I, I don't draw well, but I will tell you this, I keep practicing for y'all. I'm tr uh, taking classes all the time, trying to learn new techniques so that um, I can do better for y'all. I just go back and forth with colors. If you've ever taken any of my art classes, y'all know that about me. We shade, we go back and forth with the colors, and I don't, I usually don't even rinse the brush when I'm doing that because I want them to kind of all blend in together. And I can guarantee you there will be things that I don't like about this whole drawing, painting, but it, it'll be all right. It's all right. Now, I want a light color. Mm, let's see how this looks for that middle part, you know. Those heads not all in color. Blend those in together a little bit just to make myself happy. That's cute, Denise. That's adorable. Yeah. Just find one that's, you know, one that makes you smile. And use that as your inspiration. Yours is going to look different. It, you know, that's just, you're going to put your own spin on it anyway, so... Now, you know, I am, I'm just not liking this. I'm gonna use uh, my buttermilk paint for the nose, but I'm not gonna rinse my paintbrush yet, I don't think. I wanna see how this does. That's, it's kinda like cooking, right? Um, I've always said I love other people's cooking you know, somebody else can make something, it's like, it's so much better than if I cook it. But my aunt always told me, everybody always loves somebody else's cooking better because they didn't have to cook it. Just Google them. Uh, who asked me that? Glenda. Yeah, I just Google or I Pinterest um, till I find something I like. Or you, you know, you can always do kind of a, that's something else I like to do. I'll take something from one picture that I really like and then something from another picture that I really like and kind of mesh them together and come up with something completely new. You can do that too. Um... The acrylic dries a lot faster, of course, on paper like this. So you have to go back in sometimes and go back and forth with the two different colors. Um, let's see, how what do I wanna do? Are y'all starting to see him come alive now? Donna. <laughs> so 
poslední kroniky. Have y'all gone over and um, uh, followed Ellie's Attic on Facebook? My friend Elizabeth. She did another video today after she went to Goodwill to show us her what she found. She found some great stuff today. Oh, welcome, Joyce. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you enjoy what we do. Um, I've had some, let me just disclaimer, I've had Facebook issues today. Uh, normally, I would have this turned over where you could actually watch what I'm doing better, but Facebook said no today. It said, no, you're not going to do that, and it knocked me back off, so we're upside down till I can figure it out. I know, Betty. I am so excited to see what she's going to do with those beautiful things. Oh, my goodness. Make it a little, just a little good. Shade that. And go back in. I think, let's see, let me get a little bit more detailed brush. Thank you, Cindy. You saw it, Janice? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see what she does. I I'm ready to do my other, you know, like my <sighs> frames that I got when she and I went to Goodwill last Friday. But I've got to go get the, like the um, wax and things like that. And then I'll do just a little, like a little knee there. Let's go out. Oh, that big pot. Ah, oh, no. Oh, what a find. I want to know what's inside it. That's the mystery. I was like, she's going to open it. I know she is. And then she did. And I was like, oh, golly, I wanted to see that. Will it really? So I can just use my Waverly. I even have some white wax. I think it's white. I don't think it's clear. Uh, but I haven't ever used it, I don't believe. So maybe I need to just jump in there and uh, do it. I ordered my papers from Digital Deco Designs. So maybe they'll be here very soon. Oh, good, Vicki. I'm so glad y'all can do that because it's just frustrating today. This is what's kind of, I feel like this is what's kind of thrown me all off my my game. Not that I ever really have an A game, but uh, <laughs> you know, some days. And this day, when I couldn't go live, I thought I was going to have to just hang it up. I'm going back and forth between a couple of different colors of paint here. I just want this to look all, you know, shadowed and weird and fun. Go in here. <laughs> Good way now. <laughs> yeah, this is a crazy cow absolutely whimsical and fun. Now I want to go into this. We're going to do a little shadow inside the nose so it looks like it's got just a little depth. 
and not flat. Did I get them on there? Yeah. Yeah, right, Melissa? Yeah, with his arms folded, and he's just had enough. He has had enough. What a day it's been. Okay, now I am going to rinse that and go up here. Thank you, Carol. I was hoping I could save this. Do our little horns. Thank you, Charlene. Y'all are very forgiving, I'm telling you. Quite generous. So since these were gonna be on uh, recipes, that's kind of why I wanted, as I was looking for these, I thought how fun to make them have these funny expressions because they're on a, a beef recipe page. Oh, Debbie, thank you so much. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna go into white for these eyes. Just a little bit over here. And I think, let's kind of outline this in a darker color so it shows up better. I'm gonna do this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. We're not done yet, though. We've got more. We've got more. I want to do some more details. I want to do... We're going to go out there. And let's do a little, hmm. Now that that's dry, we can add a little bit more detail. And I want a small brush right here. You can do it, Janice. You can do it. And when you start putting details, that's when it really, you know, really brings it to life. All right. <clears throat> now let's hit this with the, the heat. I'm going to dry it upside down so you can see kind of better what he's looking like or she, whatever it is. Barbecue and some chicken, yeah. Eat more chicken, yes. This one I'm gonna try a little bit smaller black pen to outline. 
And again, we're just going to be really loose about it. Coming to life. Coming to life. Let's see. Bring it in here. Those little hooves are almost like little hearts. <clears throat> Let's see. Now, let's finish the eyes up right here. Thank you, Allison. Oh, so hoping he would, I could get one to be cute today. Let's see, we're gonna do the silly. Still gonna be silly. So let's, uh, oh, hey, Kristen, I am so happy you're here. It's all about the details, Tammy. Uh, that's, you know, you could stop um, earlier, but I always say you can take it up that next level and you just, I would be really surprised how cute you can make it and how it, you know, really makes the little bitty details make a big difference. See that little bottom lip? I thought he needed a bottom lip. Um, and I want to take this pen and Oh, thank you, Janice. I, that's what I wanted. I just wanted them silly and fun and whimsical. Thank you, Brenda. 
My pig needs a curly tail, even though you're looking at her from the front, you think? on the table. Okay. Am I getting any of them push? There we go. Just a little bit right here in the center. Okay. We're getting there. We're almost done. And we're only five minutes after five. I can't believe y'all have hung with me today and all these Technical difficulties, y'all are all right. You're always all right. And we're gonna just hit that real quick with the heat gun. Thank you for the hearts. Y'all are sweet. Thank you, Opa. Thanks, Lori. A funny fighter fish that gave up. What's a fighter fish? Mm, oh my goodness. All the animals should be holding signs that say eat taters. <laughs> That's cute. That is very cute. Yeah, I wrote down, I remember somebody even asked about a duck. Um, but, you know, we're going to do a... We're gonna do a rabbit before it's said and done. And cause somebody said they wanted a rabbit and glasses. So that may end up being Sunday, I don't know. Okay, let me turn it around. What do y'all think of the cow? <laughs> I have ended up really loving the cow that's pretty fun don't y'all think <laughs> oh a beta fighting fish oh they're so pretty but and then he gave up huh i'll have to put some thought to that one now y'all are challenging me yeah i'm gonna do a simple rabbit on the welsh rarebit let me let's go this way on the welsh uh rarebit recipe that it's Welsh rabbit in this cookbook, which that's not technically what it is, but this cookbook has Welsh rabbit. So we've got our cow and our pig on recipes. Do you like them? Oh, thank y'all so much. A dancing trout. Whoo! Y'all don't want much, do you? Oh, by the way, my headlights aren't on because I got a headlight out. This wasn't, you know, I should have known when the headlight went out, well, hang it up because <laughs> everything's gonna go wrong today. So, oh, BJ, thank you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Y'all are all so sweet. Um, so, if you weren't here in the beginning or the first video before I got so rudely cut off. I've made our little chick, our little dancing chick into some woodblock prints. So I'll probably add this to the shop and uh, I'll probably take some to Southern Vintage. And then uh, you never know, these will probably end up being woodblock prints too, just for the, the heck of it. So redo those frames for them. Oh yeah, you wanna come back Sunday and help me? <laughs> Oh, thank y'all so much. Thank you, Amanda. I'm still, I don't know why I'm not crazy about my little pig, but maybe she might grow on me. Sometimes that happens. Pig could be facing in flowers. Lori, girlfriend. <laughs> y'all try these. Go back on replay. 
I'm gonna put the, this video up on YouTube as well. You can start and stop while you're painting and drawing. Just do each little section at a time, break it down. When I'm drawing, I, ba I break it down um, into, how do I put it? You know, like the top of her head is just like a, a parent, one parentheses, something like that. You know, just break it down into to simple shapes, lines and shapes that you're used to doing. So, hula hoop around the pig. Y'all just keep on. <laughs> Y'all just keep on. Darlene, I want to see yours. The pig needs a bow. I'll put a bow on her. I can put a bow on her. Yeah, Kristen, I had a lot of technical difficulty. So the first time I started, I got a few minutes into it. And when I went to flip the camera upside down, it, it knocked me off. So I don't know what we're how this is all gonna look in the long run, but we'll see. We we did it though, we did it. Um, we got through the technical difficulties and everything and still had fun. So thank y'all so much. Uh, y'all, you, you 130 are the tried and true, uh, I'm sure to, to do that for me. So anyway, I'm gonna go. Y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll be back Sunday at four. And um, yeah, I love y'all. Bye.